I'm Micaela Benedicto. I'm an architect and artist. I work across photography and sculpture. I usually work at the intersections of these, um, exploring the spatial dimensions of memory and loss. I've been working with photographs for about eight years now. I'm especially interested in the ambiguity of the photograph, wherein we don't usually see the whole picture. Most of the time in any photograph of any place, person or object, there's always information missing, and there are always aspects of the subject or the event that are lost. And so much like our memory, it's really a document of loss and selection. A photogram is a type of photograph made in a dark room without the use of film or a camera. Instead, you take these 3D objects and place it on top of a photosensitive paper and expose this to light. And the paper records the trace images of the object. In more recent years, I began making these photograms that had no objects at all, no proper subjects being photographed. It's about the void, an attempt to generate an image from nothing or from the absence of something, or an attempt to capture that which cannot be seen. Since there are no other objects being photographed in this series, I cut and fold the blank light-sensitive paper itself into temporary 3D formations in the dark prior to exposure, then unfold or dismantle them after the photos have been captured. The handling of the paper, the light conditions, the time of exposure, and the spatial assembly are all part of the index that produces the image. The resulting photograph is both image and object. It contains the trace effects of the temporary structure, but also retains the marks and creases from this form that it had taken. So it becomes a physical remainder or ruin of something that had transpired. There are a number of sculptures in the room that are made of mirror steel, I wanted them to be part of the exhibition space, like architectural interventions in the room, as if they were emerging from the walls or folding away from the space. These mirror sculptures divide the space that they are occupying into fragments and reorder and multiply the reflections to form a constantly changing present reality of images that are always shifting. They are mostly repeating shapes or strips in regular intervals, the redundancy of which begins to produce new information or in some cases interfere upon itself, complicating the image that you see and producing these effects that become evident with one's gaze and movement or upon longer examination. So there is time involved in the act of looking. The gaps and hollows in the construction are essential features in producing this effect. The viewer is actually a very important part of the work because these pieces are transformed and activated by a person's motion and vantage point. So the last pieces that I worked on are these photograms that have been silver-toned. The silver toner changes the chemistry of the photograph and it turns it into a mirror and this new mirror surface along with the cuts and folds produce these obscure images as if the photograph is still processing the image in front of it so it looks like an image that is endlessly forming or endlessly becoming.